Hello everyone and welcome back to my franchise zoo in episode number six and we finally have a name for this lovely project and it's called La Casa de la Tierra which is basically house of the planet or house of the earth or earth house or however you want to call it um, exactly but it's um I think it's very fitting because our focus is on, on the conservating uh, or conservation aspect of the game. And today we are going to get in with an animal which is uh, really in need of uh, being conserved and preserved actually because it is going to be the Okapi. But before we do so, I just wanted to um, show you some of the newest blueprints that you guys have sent into this wonderful, wonderful uh, project which I am uh, starting to love even more because you guys are just insanely crazy. Um, so let me just quickly check. I got this wonderful backstage carriage thing, which is super cool because we even have this kind of delivery thing with plants in and you can see some fruits and some chests and stuff, some crates. And that one has been made by Mr. Heliosmith. And also Heliosmith did also bring us something else, which I'm going to put down uh, in a bit. And that is, let me just check where it is. It is a climbing frame. I'm just looking where it is. Um, it's not that one. Where is the climbing frame? There we go. This is the wonderful climbing tree, which I totally love. It's a very cool, unique design, as you can see, with a wonderful little shelter on top. And the animals do actually use it. Um, and we will use this also in a different uh, habitat. Not in that one, obviously, or in the ones we already have, because there's barely any space. But um, we will definitely get into it. And uh, I just want to quickly show you. I think, is that is that also, also a blueprint? Yeah, it is. Okay, so we can leave it here. Um, and then we also had someone bring it in uh, also something very cool and that is Andreas Foil. I'm not even sure if I downloaded the blueprint. Let me just quickly check. No, I didn't, but it should be appearing in a second in here. Let me just close the menu and then uh, we can go to blueprints again and it should be in. It almost seems like it was and it is going to be a hidden water pipe. There we go. What a water pipe. I love it. Look at that. What a water pipe. Um, yeah, as I already claimed a few times, I hate this water pipe design uh, and so it's pretty cool if it's uh, hidden away and that one is very geniusly hidden. Um, so this is something I really consider having in there as well. Is that like a blueprint? Yeah, it is. So we leave some of the stuff over here, um, not only to, to have it at hand, but also to make sure that this is going to be the backstage anyways. And I want to make sure that I'm not going to build anything here. Um, so we also have something other very cool and was the uh, tropical shops, as you can see. We are going to use those now for the Okapi, uh, Okapi area, um, which is going to be a little bit inspired by what Mike did. Um, I think it was for Ruby, if I'm not completely wrong. I think it was for Ruby, but we're going to utilize that space over here. Um, now the thing is, it's going to be a bit more difficult this time. Uh, because now also not going to finish it all up today uh, maybe in between I don't want to make too many cuts and also don't want to make this episode too long but the idea is that we do create some kind of a little canyon which has an overarching uh, overhanging viewing platform so the idea is that we are going to have a little bit of a a little bit of a platform going on uh, let me just quickly raise the terrain here a little bit so we just don't need to raise it too crazy just a little bit so that we put the shops on top because people are pretty needy when it comes to this freaking food and drink and stuff um so it's gonna be sitting over here and then we're going to use this wonderful uh tool over here which is called the terrain stamp and we're going to use the cube we're gonna make it pretty wide indeed and then just let's get in with a very slight incline or decline actually so let me check if this is going to work out it should be so there we go that should be all fine i'm gonna actually smooth it out down here a little bit because well it doesn't matter too much just want to make sure that also the um the overall little gap over here is not too crazy no i think it's it's all fine it's all good it's not too it's not too heavy so that's fine so we're going to have this here now what i was saying so the problem is as i said i was always trying to build the hubs and now let me just quickly explain to you what i meant by the hubs now i will do this in a very specific way and this is something i haven't done before but i i think it's definitely needed to do it that way now i'm going to use this space over here as the Okapi habitat. So that means there won't be anything else available in here. Now I thought, but I will do something instead. Um, we are kind of making a little micro house with some exhibit animals going in here. So that will be sitting right in this space and then there will be something connected over here um, and this will be the shop area so that we do have our 
um, still our regulation of threes. Um, that meaning is one shop area, two habitats. This is the, the, the kind of rule of three in our, like in my efficiency sense. So we are going to have the shops here. Then we're going to have the, just um, the Okapi habitat is going to be that one. Um, mainly this area. So that is kind of the canyon you will be looking at. And then I'm also willing to have like a bit of a back area here, um, kind of hidden away by a little, uh, I think I'm gonna make like a little bit of a terrain um, rock or whatever, like a big rock so that they can actually go in the back here. Oh, look at that, the uh, Orang U10 has matured. So they have a bit of less space. So we might need to check two habitats also to make them a bit bigger. I'm gonna dive into this in a bit. Um, so yeah, but our backstage area will then go um, quite through here. So we will put the facilities in that space here. That's where, where they will be sitting. And then the micro house will go all the way in here. So that is where the micro house will sit. Um, and so that also, it kind of hugs the entrance area quite nicely. And I think it, it's, quite, it's, it's quite compact. It's okay. I actually wanted to go a bit more into the zoo first, but I think it's fine. We have a lot of money um, and we can actually do this rather quickly, which I'm, I'm quite confident that this will be done quickly. Now, um, I will definitely put these things I have over here um, also in the backstage area. So we have them available. Now, let me also quickly put my timer next to me, six and a half minutes in. That should be all fine. This is the research done. Also, I want to improve. Um, okay, so while we are doing this and I don't really need anyone, let me do quickly the following. I just want to make sure that all of our people are already trained. Let's bring them all up uh, one level. So I don't forget about that. Please keep reminding me also in the comments, guys, about this, because otherwise I definitely will forget this um, because I know myself and uh, I'm, I know myself too well that I definitely will keep forgetting that. And uh, we definitely need to do this because that's called efficiency and we <laughs> efficiency and we need to make sure that they're all really well trained and having a lot of stuff. So for example, uh, Colby Harvey needs to be because he's gonna have a high hot workload, making him a bit quicker is definitely um, helpful, I guess. Okay, so that is done. I think that's a good one. Uh, Keisha Bok is about to, to need a rest, but this is about to happen. Now, before we go and actually build this, let's quickly check the space available because I wanted to open up the uh, Bonobo habitat to decide a little bit because I guess they will run out of space. I will just check how the welfare is. So it's 93%. Nutrition could be better. Space could be better. You know, as long as it's that way, I'm totally fine. As soon as they start complaining, I will definitely start giving them something else. Okay, so we improved the food for them. What about our tigers though? Did we improve the food for them as well? Because I know that the food for tigers is quite expensive okay i think we keep it at grade two how are you doing though um i saw some of the tigers lying around in here quite often but no oh actually they're in, way in the front with the little baby hello little baby we also need to give all the people names actually um i will definitely give this one already the name of one of our uh main contributors um again i think rapstar has now two names is that correct let me just quickly check sorry i am i'm stupid and i forget about things let me just check the names and then uh, Robstar should appear twice if I did so. Yeah, I did. Okay, so we need to give the Bengal tiger to Helio then. I'm gonna do this. Helio. There you go. Um, not making... Like, I will keep um, uh, naming the animals by your names, but I, before I forget, I definitely need to do this. I know that we also have Kibela already. Is that correct? Let me just quickly check that. It's important, guys. Okay, we need to spend the time checking this um k k k k k k k k k no we don't so kibele did contribute already the kitchen and also has like a second version or oh, someone else did put that in wait mister i need to check who that was because we also have another wonderful kitchen i want to put down no one is left out here guys no one is left out because the blueprints are really helpful and really cool so there we go this is the great addition to realism industrial kitchen design let me just put that down here and it is done by so if i click this um you guys cannot see but i can see it it is done by luro wait a second luro is actually someone else in my discord oh god i don't need to double check this uh oh this is also a rope star oh my lord okay so that is insane mm. 
Oh, was it actually Luro? Is that a different... Oh, whatever. I'm not, I'm not going to check that now. So we are 10 minutes in. I definitely need to start doing a bit more. Now, they are finally happy with their space. Look at how crowded it is. This is insane. I definitely need to build like a second providing area for some shops in the back here as well. Um, you know what? We are just quickly doing that. I, I found a good blueprint out of my old zoos, which I'm going to use. And that is the uh, Galpi shop from my first franchise zoo. We're going to use this one. Um, I'm just going to bring that all the way down here. Just gonna rotate this a little bit. Here we go. So it is going to be here. Yeah, that's kind of nice. Hot dog, squad. Hot dog squad. Actually, do we have a staff room in here? No, I don't. Okay, I thought I was so clever to put a staff room here, but I didn't, um, apparently. So let me just quickly pause the game because I don't want them to run away. I need to know where exactly my people are. Uh, this is rather important now. Okay, so we're going to build a little plaza here because people will start to queue up like madmans and I don't want to make this a big issue. So, oh, that is not working for whatever reason. I think because I smoothed it out. So what's the smallest possible? That's kind of the... Okay, whatever then. No, 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 no. I, I do need to... Oh, God. Will I be able to... Okay, let's just undo it quickly and see where I find a better... This is all not possible. Okay, you know what? I'm just going to delete this path then because that is stupid. Um, never mind. How much is that? How much is the fish? Uh, no, uh, no. Why is this not working? Obstructed by water volume. You must be kidding me. Um, okay, so wait a second. If I... Yeah, no, this is obstructed by path, right? Oh my lord. Okay, so we're going to keep this that way. Uh, I definitely need to find a solution for this. Um, so if that is working... Um, I think if I delete all of that over here, we should be... You know what? We just need to delete all of that first, um, including this one. Thank you. Because otherwise, I would have not brought that around. Oh my, okay. Um, this is... <laughs> <laughs> Such a finicky stuff. Uh, whatever. Okay, let's clear, kind of try to... You know what? I don't really care too much about this. Um, because... Well, actually, this is rather nice. Because this will create some nice movement between the people. I, I cannot, like, make a grid out of that. But what I can do... I can, again, smooth this area out. Delete this one. Uh, we're going to keep it here first, okay? So this is where we have it. Now, in terms of my idea about the backstage, we definitely need to... Okay, you know what we do? We are definitely going to bring in one already. We are, we are going to have one backstage area here. Just give it a small path. Uh, it's going to connect over here and on, on the other side here. So there we go. Just bring that all the way back. Don't worry, it's just for the good. Um, we bring this all the way into the back here and the main reason for that is that this will be one of the another hubs okay so we can actually paint this again to the ground why not so we have it in our minds that is fine so we're gonna have like a habitat here and we're gonna have like a bigger habitat going here which is hugging this little food station in here quite nicely and then we do have our backstage shit down here <laughs> uh, which you're gonna bring down by a huge staff room uh, it's going to be right in here and I'm quite sure that this won't have any energy um, as I assume there is no energy right so we can already put like a generator next to it um, bloop, 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 bloop. there you go Let's put it here. It's actually needed. We will also need a water treatment, but I'm not going to put this down quite yet because it sucks money, which we don't need uh, at this point. Okay, so what we do, uh, we actually have these two vendor guys and there's another one jumping out as soon as I hit the play button again. Now, what we're going to do is we are going to quickly create the work zone. Um, staff work zones and we're going to create one. And we call this, oh God, I don't even know how to call this. Mm. Mm. This could actually be the food court bonobo. That's, that's the only one uh, name I can think of right now. It doesn't even care. Um, I actually could have a mechanic in here as well. Anyhow, I'm going to put in another caretaker as well. 
uh, because this caretaker will be only dedicated to this area. Now, is there the vendor jumping out of that one too? No, actually, there is no vendor. All right, so then we are going to ex uh, explore if we can find another one. So you're not, why would you be in information center? Oh, that this is your own. Okay, I'm gonna need to delete this one then because that's gonna be a bit stupid. So food code Bonobo, you are going to be uh, food code Bonobo too. And we're also going to employ two more vendors. Actually, three, I guess. One, oops, uh, why doesn't this work again? Two and three. All right, oh God, this is hopefully not too expensive, but uh, yeah, we need to make sure that this works. Okay, so this is going to be food court Bonobo. And you are also going to be food court Bonobo. And you are going to be food court Bonobo too. How cool is that? Didn't I put the wrong one in this time? No, I didn't. Awesome, so that's the one. Let's give it a perk. Um, I wanna make this um, a rec room. Yeah, 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 that's what we wanna do. Awesome. And before we leave this area for the Okapis, uh, okay, PKB, Okapis, Okapis, I think it's Okapis. Uh, we need to put down some recreation sh stuff. <laughs> I want to say shit, but it's not. Um, I don't know if these things help. But this is definitely something that does help quite a bit. Um, and these stuff. We also do change this building, of course. This is not too tropical. I mean, it has some tropical elements, but we will exchange the... Um, I think I like the, the, the roofing and stuff, but I'm gonna exchange the wall sets after a while. Um, they don't really seem to me the best cases, uh, best case things for now. I'm gonna put some of these benches just next to the path here so people can just relax a little bit if they want. Awesome, so that's kind of cool. We have this stuff. Oh, let's put also an ATM, making us some money. The good old money. What is going on with me? That's wrong, okay. Let's say all, and we're gonna have the ATM, which gonna put this into the wall here. It's kind of nice there. Oops, there we go. Awesome. So that should definitely make them make them enjoy this area a lot more, and they can actually get some drinks here and just you know give us some money. I think that should be fine. And then we go over. So is that like another research done? Yes, it is. Awesome. Okay, before we go on, let me just quickly check the... Um, we are now 17-ish minutes in, so it's gonna be a, a cut, definitely. Um, you know, preparing the uh, habitat, and then this time we are going to make like a bit more of the habitat build uh, in real time, so that this episode is about 40-ish minutes long, so that should be a target time in. Um, okay, so let's get in with the Okapi. By the way, I did get them already from the workshop, so it's not that we need to wait for them. Um, so the OKP needs quite a huge thing. They don't need water, they don't need climbing, they can be quite um, nice in terms of land requirement. They are from Africa, but from jungle. Um, they can live up to two um, with the juveniles, which is cool. Uh, two years age of 60. Okay, uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. Very easy, number of offspring one, age okay. They make babies forever, which is also great. Okay, so we need 1,000-ish plus square meter, which um, should be doable with this habitat area over there. These are all research, that is nice. Challenge, blah, 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 is all going on. Who is visiting my zoo? Okay, let's just say hello to them. Gather some of uh, the uh, conservation credits. Actually, let me just quickly check. I think I didn't sell animal settings my storage i do have this one which um i can actually sell and say trade i'm gonna put this in for a thousand whatever so let's do it that way um yeah and well there are some animals i could trade but at this point in time i'm, I'm just waiting uh for these to be sold otherwise i'm just going to release them to the wild we will make some good money with the gorillas anyways or with the um Bonobos at some point. Why are you all boxed? Uh-huh. I don't even know why exactly that was the case, but well, where are all the animals though? They're all in the trees? Wait, where are you all? Why is it dark? Oh, there you go. It's bright again. Um, a lot of babies. Size is pretty much okay for them, which is interesting. Look at the babies. I like the Bonobo babies quite a bit, honestly. They look like chimps, even though they're Bonobo babies. I like this. Really cool animals, really cool, lovely baby animals. I like them. So yeah, we have quite a few. 
Um, how are your stats, by the way? Because uh, this was one of the issues we had. Oh, actually, the stats are a lot better already. So that's kind of cool. We're going to start reproduction with you guys soon. But, um, well, that should be fine. These stats are not too well, but oh, it's all okay. It's all okay. Now, let's move over and start the habitat. And I'll be back with you in a bit um, as soon as I've done the basic uh, layout to this area. So it's not going to be major. Uh, don't worry, it's just a few minutes. Um, also, I can drink my tea before it's cold, um, which is pretty helpful. And we are going to see each other after the cut. All right, everyone, here we are. And this is what I've done in the meantime. It's not, It's as I said, it's not much. It's just the very bare bone stuff we need. Now, um, you can see I put this wonderful shop in here. This is the tropical shop as I've talked about and let me just quickly check again who that was because uh, I'm stupid and I forgot the names uh, during uh, the episode already in a few seconds. It is from uh, Citroen Vert and Citroen Vert uh, did give this to us and I needed to tweak that a little bit but um, we will talk about that a little bit. You can see that there is a toilet especially in here in the middle that has a reason um, because I didn't want to have the people standing in line for the stuff while they are looking at the animals. So I made these uh, two kind of overhanging little viewing platforms, which the people will use quite a bit. And we can put the education speakers and stuff it, it, uh, um, over there. And we can also at the same time, by the way, what is going on? Why are you just... No, 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 don't move. Just unbox the animals for whatever reason. Let me just quickly unpause so they are unboxed. All right, let's get rid of this information. Yeah, yeah, this is inaccessible, I know. Uh, it'll be accessible in a bit. Uh, we will also just do what we need to do. I paused the game mainly because of the light conditions. Um, I have hidden the uh, most of the habitat, as you can see, the build over here. So what we will do quickly before we are getting the animals in, and um, therefore I need to, and this is like a little bit of a tricky thing right now, we will, just for the sake of having someone to deliver the animals, we will put a staff path uh, as a connection uh, in here. This one will not be uh, for the rest of the, uh, all the times available. It's only for us right now, okay? So that's the only way we can make sure that the people are not just running here because I want to finish the habitat first to put in the education stuff because before the people come uh, running over here. And again, I paused the game right now to have the best view in terms of uh, lighting conditions. Now, I really don't know if the animals will be able to escape. We will have to check this. Um, but first of all, let's do the painting um, because I think this is rather important at the beginning. Now, let's just bring in the whole ground a lot more grass as we need it. Um, I'm just gonna paint this just randomly over here. Nothing nothing crazy, just a little bit like so. And then we go and do a bit of uh, nicer work. Now let's bring in some, some sand down here so that this little lake looks a bit more realistic. Some, some coarse sand as well. It's a bit darker in the middle of the water, obviously. It's gonna have this going over here too. Okay, you can always also drag that a bit in here if you want. And then obviously what we do, we need a lot of rock that blends in also with these wonderful rocks over here. So that this makes a lot more sense. I'm just going to make this a bit, bit stronger because this is going to blend in anyways. So we're just going to follow the lines and just make sure that all of this is kind of rock. Uh, we will also do a bit of a trick here. I'm going to show this to you for those of you who have no idea of... of uh, terraforming and to use this little thing might be liking this trick because it's it's kind of a little bit of a uh, nice little thing to do in order to get your uh, skills in, in painting the, these rocks and surfaces a little bit easier and to get in with some you know kind of little tweaks uh, with a very simple trick where you don't really need to pay too much attention to what you do it just kind of does the trick itself just gonna show this to you in a bit. Uh, I'm just gonna follow all the lines here so it all looks good. So where you have the, where, where you do have these rocks, you can actually press a bit harder to make sure that this all is covered in rock. And then you just kind of slightly blend that into the environment. I really highly suggest to never go to 100% unless you wanna kind of paint something as I've done this as a little marker or just to get some overall shape in but uh, in general there is the th rule of thumb to not uh, be go over 60% actually as you can see 60% is already quite strong and I'm al already abusing it um, but this is for a good reason I'm going to show this to you in a bit now as you've done this you can see it's already forming a lot nicer now what I used to do is I'm going to take the pull tool for example and then go down with the intensity and then I go to sampled, which is pretty cool because then it kind of takes the 
texture you have and it, it kind of uses that texture and blends them together. So when you, you use this to kind of form these areas, you can see that it takes the the one where you press and it kind of blends the textures together f depending on where you are. Like you can also use select it, but then it kind of goes too much into each other as you can see. So um, yeah, it's, it, it's, it's kind of using the one that you have selected previously. So definitely you wanna use the sample one because that's gonna make some cool effects. You can also use the smooth tool that works pretty much the same. Oh, let's just do it a bit harder. So there we go. That was one for Aliyah, by the way. Uh, fully unintended this time. I feel bad because that wasn't even intended, but it was a good one. Never mind. Um, but yeah, you can just go in and be be a bit more creative by just, you know, painting. And as you can see, it's a difference. When I do paint from down here, it drags actually the grass texture a little bit higher up. But if you go from, from above, you, you take the rock texture a bit more down. So that's kind of cool. It really helps you to create a bit more of a nicer looking uh, mountain phase so that's that's really like something that I would like to do and would like to give you guys a little advice uh, in general but yeah I'm just gonna I'm just gonna try to bring in a bit more of a realistic looking rock face nothing nothing crazy okay so it's just making sure also that the animals will not be able to escape later so we're just gonna a bit more roughness into this one we can actually have some overhanging stuff here why not um, just go in a bit more bold over here as well and then yeah just let's create a bit of a more high up thing in the middle here it's gonna be like this and then, yeah we're gonna make this a bit more rocky so there we go we can just put something on top later in terms of plants and stuff but yeah so this gives the animals a bit more privacy in the back and if they decide to go to the front you can see them and they do have the privacy area in the back. i think that's fine and and now it's the point where we bring the animals in and this is going to wow why why is it loading that long okay so we no this is the bongo don't do the mistake re don't do the mistake come on just go here it's uh madu and fayola okay i cannot select both right no i need to select this one first uh do i actually need to change the page again oh my lord okay so there we go and fayola as well bring her in mm -hmm. awesome so that's done and um, now let's unpause the game. Uh, we will have some caretakers and stuff. They will deliver them. But while we do so, we can actually also imply, uh, employ already a new keeper and use this keeper to create this little new uh, area. So you are going to go with a new work zone. New work zone, actually. There you go. This is your work zone. And that is going to be the Okapi. Boom. There you go. Um, we can actually name this Okapi as well. There you go. This is easy. Now this one is now aligned to the area and now let's quickly speed up the game a bit because I want to wait quickly until the animals are in the habitat. Uh, yep, I can just check that. Awesome. So I'll deliver them. Boom and uh, boom. Yeah, boom. there we go. Both are in and we can slow down and also now let's have a look what these animals want. Obviously I might not have... Oh, that was just about right look at that just about right a bit too much of the grass but that's really not a big deal we can really get in with some more soil here and there and then they will be totally happy and just bring the soil in where it's needed actually that makes a cool texture anyway so we can just bring that all in here a bit more make this a bit more swampy a bit more jungle-ish looking oh look at that that works like wonders and just put more some rock in Great, that's all what they need. Awesome. So nutrition, well, they didn't have anything to eat right now. Uh, they have basically no of that. Cleanliness, temperature, plants. So that is obviously what they need. They need a whole lot of plants. And guess what? I love putting in a lot of plants. But before we do so, let me just use a bit of the rock work first because um, I think I'm a big fan of the, the, these wonderful new rocks um, with this weird but yet amazing texture whatever this is, like, how is it called? Dynamic texture? I think that's what they called it, and it deserves that title because it is very dynamic, but also very great. And I really do love that, to be honest. It's uh, really something absolutely cool. Okay, now let's quickly check the traversable area of those dudes, and here we go with the problem. Now, um, that is not too much of a big deal. Um, we can definitely use my favorite thing uh, ever, and that is using the rocks uh, to kind of 
create a bit of a natural barrier to what they were able to get out of. So, uh, oh god, I love this. It's kind of the African one, but these animals are from Africa, so I think that's a, exactly the vibe we can go for at this point in time. So let me see. So they were able to climb up here. Is that still like... Is that still like a thing? I mean, otherwise you get the elephant grass, you know? Elephant grass is w what you always need. So let's recalculate. Nope, that is it. I think that's way big enough. Oh yeah, like uh, three times the size, so we can get nut uh, go nuts actually with the uh, plants. But before we do so, I want to go to Habitat and um, get in with a lot of badly needed stuff for them. Um, so we're going to put some of the enrichment items obviously to the front because we want them to, uh, you know, also use that area for the guests because we cannot only always look at them. We also have to get a little bit of a glimpse of what the guests like. See, that's the first moment where you can use this water pipe. Water. Um, I think I want to have this here. Awesome. Look at that. I hope that they can use it. Um, and also that the, the staff is able to use it. Also, well, there might be some stuff in there which the animals don't really like, but they are quite easy when it comes to the plants anyway, so that should be fine. I'm gonna put the food trough. Um, where do we put that though? Yeah, I think back here is nice. That should be fine. We don't any, even need to have anything climbing for them, right? No, we don't need climbing. But what we could give them already is some leaves here and there. And obviously, this is kind of the hard shelter they have. So we're gonna put a lot of bedding down in here. And also what I want to do is to just quickly carve a little bit in here, just to make sure it doesn't look so like, you know, created tunnel-ish. I don't really like that too much. It's just a little bit like this. So they do have their wonderful little uh, hard shelter. Is that correct? Yeah, that is awesome. Now let's get in and actually choose the biome tropical continent is Africa. And then let's go to everything. And now let's really push a lot of good stuff in here. As I said, this is like a real jungle. So we can really get mad with all the stuff we have. And this time we don't need to worry too much about uh, the height of the stuff. Because we have this lowered ground area. Um, which was part of the idea uh, why I did it that way. And used the kind of trick that Mike used. Um, because actually this is really cool. Because it lowers the whole area down. And you can use all these trees that grow high up. Um, and they don't appear so like immense, okay? So this is really kind of cool to get this jungle vibe going. See, this is exactly what you what I mean. You now have the jungle vibe going and still have a cool view into this very low end. Uh, well, low end is, is the wrong term, but it's like the, the low habitat because it's in here in, in the low area, in the valley, I want to call it. Well, actually, it's a valley, so it's like a canyon, but whatever and you can actually now really go crazy with all the plants i think they should already be yeah see this is the lobster claw they don't like but as long as we give them all so much that they like um they should be fine in a bit give them also a lot of privacy by putting these things down as they cannot climb it doesn't really matter where i put the stuff so i can actually go nuts if i want so let's see that we use some of the stuff over here as well. I think I want to also make sure that this higher area over here looks a bit more overgrown. Let's get one there. I like sometimes when the root is sticking out like this. I quite like this. Um, I was actually wondering if I want a waterfall down here. I think we can this time skip it. I don't know. Maybe you guys do comment in the comment section down below. If you want to have this uh, waterfall then we might be able to do it but i think for me because it would be in the back anyways and why would we have it right um it would make more sense to have one in the front but since we don't have anything in here that needs it i think it's totally okay to just scrap it this time and say you know we just don't need it <laughs> i think that's that's totally what we need to do um we can actually get in with more overgrown greenish stuff by using these trees as kind of bushes, okay. Can I make the make the back a bit more green? I think also with this, I like this one quite a bit. It's it's rather bushy, so I like it really much. Uh, in terms of yeah, like actually, kind of these things that would grow from the sides here. Yeah, why not? Okay, that looks that looks neat. That looks neat. Okay, so this one is, is rather big. Um, let me just see if I can use that over here. I think I like that and also get in with some really cool growing stuff over here. We can actually use this one in the 
yeah, why not? It kind of looks cool. We, we could have some roots, but you know, I'm not, not the biggest fan of these ones. So uh, that one is also pretty strange. But I'm gonna I'm gonna throw that down like so, and then uh, everyone should be fine. Um, also, also, how is about the plan? We are we are good in with the plants. Uh, we could also get some of these like you know ground covering things and some banana banana plants, banana ban banana rama. Just let's put all some plant uh, palm trees in to make sure that they also cover the whole area nicely. Actually, it's I think it's it's fairly okay to have it a habitat like this already. Like the plant coverage is all right and you know, spending a bit more time to the front here makes sense, I guess now. Uh, we are already quite into this episode and if I wanna reach my 40 minutes, we only have like five minutes left and um, we should use them to put in the stuff for the guests. Now, one thing I want to use this time, oh wait, let me just quickly do the rest of, I think there's not so much I can I can still put in, like the grazing feeder is going to be, I think we don't have anything here, just let's put that here, the guests can still see it. All right, um, now the things I wanted to put down, I have the education board, wait, I, 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 did, I did put these over here, okay, let's copy that over. I like this style so much that I want to use this even further, I'm going to put this one here and the other one right here, okay. So that should be fine. And I'm gonna put Okapi all over the place. OKP, right? OKP, that is amazing. Amazing grace. Alright. Now, um, terrain is going to be. Oh, uh, well, you know what? Soil heavy should do the job. Just like so. Just gonna make sure that there is no long grass in here which you don't really like. And now what we also need to quickly do is we go in with these uh, wonderful tropical rocks. Where are they? Um, mm, 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 I wanna, oh, well, I can use that one too, but I think I'm gonna favor that for a moment again. So we can just make that one look a bit nicer indeed over here because I, I really hate it when the terrain is like so little bugged in there and just kind of looks weird. So I just want to make sure that we have some some real nice face going on. Uh, we can also put some mossy stones and rocks in. They blend in well together, so that's fine. Just like that, right? Yeah, no, that's that's actually okay. So what we're gonna do this time? I know usually I don't do this, but I think for the sake of it, we're going to use the railing on elevated, and then we're going to use the path, and we're going to use the new bamboo. Um, there we go. I'm gonna have these viewing platforms looking like that. I was even thinking of making that one and then like ground thing as well. I mean, this helps quite a bit. And as you can see, yes, there is something open, uh, mainly because I needed to smooth that out and it just didn't work because as soon as I delete this little nubsy over here, it, it, it kind of, wait, it doesn't really, work anymore because I, I did so much already. Okay, so I think when you leave it that way, it, it looks kind of good. It looks kind of well. Um, I'm, I'm a bit surprised, but it's okay. <laughs> I'm gonna go with it. And, and now let's just gonna quickly, um, wait, no, I'm gonna use this facility thingy, like lamppost. Gonna bring this in here. And the other one goes here, even though nighttime, we do have to investigate that later, but for now we don't. We have the we don't have the vendors. Okay, we, we need to, last minute's running. Um, we need to assign the vendors now and stuff like the education bots are done. Now what we need are the donation boxes. So we're going to get them from over here and uh, obviously the educational speakers too. So let's put these ones in here and there, there and there. And then obviously we have a whole bunch of these that will be needed across the board all over here. Oh God, I'm, I'm just gonna go really nuts here, but that's fine. Now facilities, education, educational speaker. So we're gonna put this one here and the other one goes uh, right between the rocks. That should be fine. Also, I'm trying to say less here because I'm like always like, this is going to be here, that's gonna be here, and then it's also here. And why not say here again? Because uh, if you make a drinking game, you won't even survive half of the episode. All right, um, let me just decrease the radius a little bit and then just put another one in the middle. Yeah, 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 yeah. don't worry. I'm gonna decrease the radius so much that it is fitting into the middle actually. So 
There we go. Uh, maybe we can bring you down again. Okay. And move it all the way over here. Can I actually put that into the ground? Is that into the ground? I think it is, right? Yeah, it is. Okay, so that's fine. Do they all have energy here? I, I mean, I did put the energy. Okay, guys. All right. Perfect. Now, last things we need to do before we can let the people come um, is put down some benches and also some bins. Now, let's bring all the benches where we can. Yeah, right next to the toilet. That's where you want to sit down. This is exactly where you want to sit down. Um, yeah, I'm a big fan of these tables, but I'm not I'm not a big fan of making them sit over here because this is going to be a crowdy place anyhow. Um, yeah, no. Well, I think that's fine. Just put some bins down and we're good to go in that area. Like there, 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 there. I'm going to throw all the bins in. I just Because people are just nuts in this game. So many bins though. Anyways, cool. We can connect it and hit the play button again which is cool. Um, we're gonna use this path. It's like, okay, well, we can actually deactivate the railing again. No one needs the railing anymore. Shoo! Leave it as it is. Um, all right, so now we can just try and connect that over here. Wait, this is too big. Uh, this is too big for me. Let's do it that way. Yeah, that creates a nice little area. And we're gonna smooth that out. Oh my lord, that looks absolutely fantastic. This is exactly what I wanted. And actually, people should now be taking that road over here because we have a whole bunch of new animals. Well, a whole bunch is kind of uh, exaggerating, but this is the Okapi and they are doing really good indeed. Now, this is all fine. Social is all fine. They are pretty young. They are pretty happy. Uh, we have a whole bunch of... Um, enrichment items in this area which hopefully makes them go here quite often so we have this food we have this enrichment item we have a drink we have the rubbing pillar so actually they should be roaming around there quite a lot all right now do we have actually vendors in this area um i'm not sure if i already oh still underpriced well okay then I mean, if you ask me, I will make it a bit more expensive for you. That's totally fine. Now, let me just quickly check. I'm not sure, like a staff. And now let's go to the vendor tab. Vendor. They have no work zone. Okay, so let's just go in with work zone. I'm not sure. Do we have like an Okapi food court? No, we don't. Okay, so we're going to make a new one, which is... Uh, these five wait no these five we don't need the habitat no no but we need the uh, I'm, I'm not even sure if this is enough space then for all the people maybe we even have to put in an, a second one like five oh actually it's four no that should be fine then so this is food court okapi and now if i'm not mistaken um it should be that these staff members that didn't have uh, a work zone that they okay let's we, we can actually go in here and then it is the food court okapi so there's no one in awesome so these vendors have no work zone is that correct no wait they have unassigned staff there we go so this is going to be um now this is a keeper she is is the oh that's the new one you, you're going to go for the okapi you're going to photo copy. Awesome. So, wait, we have two keepers unassigned? That is weird. Okay, we have to check that later. Um, that one is right. So, this is a vet. Wait, but I, I saw that we have some vendors that were unassigned. Okay. I'm confused. Anyways, you are going to go for the food court Okapi. Where is that one? Food court Okapi, there you go. No work zone is food court Okapi. Food court Okapi. Why? How can you have a high workload? I, I don't really, I don't know. Not, not only Okapi, food court Okapi. Awesome. Good, okay. So you have no work zone, you have no work zone. That's totally fine. Um, keeper or KP. 
I'm wondering though, so is every animal, has every animal supply? We have no one actually working for the gorilla, is that correct? Yeah, that is correct. So we're gonna have you for the gorilla habitat, right? Wait, we don't even have a... We don't even have a work zone for the gorillas. That is not good. This is not good at all. We're gonna have to do this quickly and then end the episode. Now, work zones create a new work zone. So this is going to be these two. And with the work zone done, and that is going to be the gorilla, gorilla conservation. Awesome. And this is definitely, we definitely need two here. Um, okay, let's go to zoo. And we're gonna have like another keeper. And you are going to go for the gorilla conservation uh, directly. Uh, gorilla conservation, all right. And then there was the other one, which still has no. We have one jumper, that is totally fine. And you are going to be the gorilla conservation too. Oh my lord, look at look at how many people have a high workload here. I'm gonna put them all into training already again. Um, same with these dudes. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna click all into training. I don't know, as, as long as we make money, I'm very fine. That costs like 30? That's the cheapest, that's the cheapest training ever. I want more of that, okay? I want more of that. <laughs> We've been at 400,000, but we are down to 396 again, oh, which, is, which is fine. By the way, what does our scorpion do? How, how about the scorpion? Just gonna check if our money printing machine has printed some, uh, well, born some money. It actually has borne some money, if, if you ask me. But, oh my lord, the yeah, episode's already 45 minutes. That's not no good at all. But we have a look. Well, it has printed some money. That is good. All right, let's do this, and then we end the episode. Exhibit animals, and... Oops, no, we go to zoo. Animalos. Animalos are in here. And now... God, I, I think I know all the names by heart by now for the Harry Scorpion. Because, like, <laughs> I had so many of those that this is kind of ridiculous. Okay, center, trade center. Yes, indeed. Exhibit trading. Select all. Quick trade 8,000. Done. And they're more happy again. Well, look at that. <laughs> so easy. And 10k nearly made. That is so good. All right. All right, all right, all right. Let's say to brain a kitten just one time. Hello, 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 hello. Everything works. The zoo is pretty much okay. Mm, the need uh, at the moment is thirst. Still thirst. Are you kidding me? Look at how crowded it got here immediately. Where are the okay peas? Can you even see them? I guess you. Oh, you can. Look at those too. They are in here. They are totally fine. They have a bit of stress here, which is fine. I might want to put the. What, well, what have you been, like, have you seen that? I definitely have to check that again. What's, what's, what is he doing? Is he kind of annoying the animal intentionally? Like, seriously? Mate, wh what have you been doing? Uh-huh. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. That is, um... Okay. You better don't do this again, mate. Otherwise, I need to throw you into the habitat of my white uh, tigers, I guess. Yeah, I think I need to put down these signs. But, you know, we are going to tackle that in the next episode. I really do hope, guys, that you enjoyed this episode of Franchise Zoo today, uh, which is called La, Terre, Terre, what? La Casa de la Tierra. That's how it is called. And, uh, yeah, this is our Okapi habitat. Again, I really hope you did enjoy this, and I certainly did. Oh, look at that. <laughs> Is it all good? Is, it, is the scratching nice? Okay. Right, guys, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope to see you in the next one and have a wonderful Tuesday. Until then, have a great time and goodbye.